Hello everyone, this is Tamara with From the Treetop Photography and I'm just going to do a very quick, simple and short tutorial on levels. Um, I know a few of you had requested a little more information on this and I wanted to do something very simple, definitely just for beginners, um, to show you how using levels can really increase the overall look and clarity of your images and really help you to get a better result when printing. I have a basic uh, black and white image here and as you can see there's a lot of high contrast uh, because of the dramatic lighting in this image. Uh, the shadows are pretty prominent, there's no detail in his hair here and although you know a lot of what's done in Photoshop is personal preference and there's really this image is a beautiful image. When you go to print an image like this you're going to get um, a lot of really uh, deep saturation in those areas, it's really not desirable when you want to print it. So just by bringing up your mid-tones, you can really increase the quality and the look of your printed images. So let's go over here to our Layers palette and click and right below Brightness and Contrast you will find Levels. Click on Levels and you should see um, a histogram with sliders appear. If for some reason your Adjustments palette is not set to appear, you can try to double click your icon here in levels and it should usually show up. I'm working in uh, CS4 here. So let's just go down here again to our histogram and we have three arrows. This represents highlights, midtones, and shadows. And so we want to work with our midtones because it's really what we're missing in this image. So let's just slide that to the left. And you can already see detail appearing in those areas where we just had basically solid blobs of dark shadow. Now, I really like the way it over it, it has uh, lightened the overall tone of the image, but it's also important not to lose detail in your highlighted areas. So, how we fix this is you would go click on the layer mask next to that levels icon and grab a brush. We want to get a soft black brush so we would look for a brush that had the soft edges. Make sure your hardness is set to zero. And I'm going to set my opacity to about 30 percent. Now let's just start painting over those areas that we feel like may have lost a little too much of the shadowing when we adjusted our midtones. And it's always good to have all three. You really want to have, and I'm just making my brush a little bit smaller to enhance those areas where I want there to be a little more drama and a little more shadow. And it's really just like painting. And again, this is all personal preference as to what you think is beautiful. But always remember that keeping those midtones uh, shadows and highlights balance is really going to be the key to achieving a beautiful printed image. So in this case um, I'm pretty happy with the way that this image looks. Uh, it's a little more um, high key. You can also uh, brighten the highlights more if you want to enhance that or less. Uh, really the options are pretty much limitless and up to your taste. But here you have the before and the after, and that's a pretty simple fix uh, just by using one option in Photoshop. So I hope this has been helpful, just very beginning, very simple tutorial on, on levels, and uh, good luck and happy shooting.